have you ever wondered how a flute works? Today we're going to look at first whistles and how they make their sound to understand how the flute then works. So we are looking at a train whistle, an irregular whistle, a flute, another flute, and a panpipe flute. I also have a water bottle. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> the basic you sound for a whistle is made because the air is cut. As the air goes in the whistle, it comes across an opening that cuts the air. Some of it goes up and some of it goes down. When that happens, it causes spinning. And this circle shape of the whistle is a nice example of it. That spinning of the sound is what causes the sound to make waves. As it spins, it makes waves, and those waves are what we hear. The whistle has an extra thing on the inside with a ball that will spin. That helps, and it kind of adds that trilly sound. It is not needed because, for example, in the train whistle, when we blow into the train whistle, we have the uh, air going in here, this one splits it into four spots. Those spots come and have four separate spaces that it cuts the sound. And inside, what we're not seeing are four different size chambers of the train whistle, giving us the four notes that we hear that are making the sound of a train whistle. We take that to the flute. With the sound being cut in an opening as the air goes in, and then the flute is a certain amount of length. When we cover the hole, it makes the flute longer. Making the flute longer changes its notes. The panpipe is a nice example to see how that works. It's basically a whole bunch of little flutes put together into one place. When you blow on these, you have different size, no, uh, different size, this is bamboo, and gives you different notes as you play on the panpipe. <laughs> having the air cut across, then having different lengths is much like a water bottle. Taking the water bottle and blowing across the top of it will create notes. When you drink out of the water bottle and make the space bigger, it changes the notes. Our modern flutes are much like this. There's an opening to blow that creates the sound. And then these keys have the ability to be pressed and they cover holes, making the instrument longer in order to change the notes.